Hi, this is Miss Mercy, and today, our project, we're gonna create a ice skate. Okay, so before we start doing our project, I'm gonna explain to you about the ice skates. These are ice skates. This is the left skate, this is the right skate. This skate on the bottom, this is a blade and this is used to slightly curve. That is a rocker. This is the part of the blade you spin on. And then there's also a tiptoe. That's when you jump high and you land these little beaks right here. It's called a toe pick. Sweet spot, it's also for spins. And right here, this is part of the blade. You can see it from the back. This is the outside of the edge of the blade, and this is the inside. And that's from the right foot, the right skate, sorry, and this is from the left skate. It's also the outside of the blade and the inside of the blade. And these skates are used to you could do ice skating indoors or outdoors. That means outside. But outdoors too, right here on this picture, this man is scraping the top of the ice so it could become clean and more smooth for them to do the ice skating. Okay, so let's move on. For this art project, then we're gonna need a pair of construction paper with the shape of the skates, scissors, piece of yarn, glue stick, different types of shape, foam shapes, and jumbo popsicle sticks. And we need two. We also need the long rectangles, four of them, four long rectangle shape fold it in half and it becomes a square. So we're gonna have four of them. So first I'm gonna start cutting one of my skate. And don't, rem don't forget to cut the corner part of the heel on your skate. And let's move on. Open, cut, open, cut, open, cut. Okay, so I'm done with my pair of skates. Now, I'm going to get my yarn, put one end through the hole of one skate, make a knot, and like I told you earlier, if you need help from your parents, you're more than welcome to ask them for help to help you make a knot on your yarn. There we go. I get my other skate. So now they're tied up together. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my rectangles that are folded in half. I'm gonna get a jumbo stick. This is gonna be the blade to my skate, okay? So I'm gonna put some glue here in the middle of my rectangle and stick it on one end of my jumbo stick and glue it. Then I'm gonna try the other rectangle and put glue in the middle and put it on the other end of the popsicle stick and fold it in half. See how I have my square now? So this open part, we're gonna put glue on this end, in front of my skate, and then on the back side. Right here. And then put your skate in between the square. Now I'm gonna do the other side, put glue, and glue on the front part, lift the square, 
And there we go. There's one skate, but we're not done, be done yet because we need to decorate it. So we're gonna do the same step to my other skate. Glue in the middle of my rectangle, one end of my popsicle, uh, jumbo popsicle stick, and then I need my other rectangle, glue in the middle, put the other end on the jumbo stick, press hard, so now, who remember? Yep, we're gonna put glue on one end, then on the back side to glue my my square. Then I'm gonna need the other end. Hold on. Okay, I have my pair of ice skates. Now, I'm gonna get my foamy shapes and put glue and start gluing some shapes on my ice skates. You could glue them anywhere you want. My red heart, and my right side. The green heart on the left side. Now I created my ice skates, but let me count my shapes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And remember, this month our number was twelve. But let's work from home and see if we could be creative and if you know how to name your shapes and count them.